Welcome to this jump. So what I'd like to do is talk to you about bounded. So bounded basically means you're gonna have some boundaries. And um, what we're, the reason why bound is, is, help, is helpful is because it allows us to kind of understand the behavior of the graph. So when a graph is bounded, that means it's not gonna go below a certain value or go above a certain value. So you know, let's kind of look at our famous graph, the quadratic. And if we look at a positive quadratic graph here, and let's say it's, you know, vertex there, and then this one has, you know, vertex over there. What we notice about this is at the vertex, those are our extreme, right? Those are our absolute max or absolute min. So here's our absolute min. We know this graph is going to continue going in the positive direction. It's never going to go below that value, right? So since it never goes below that value, you, you can see that this is bounded, right? It's bound, there's a boundary that you cannot go below, which is the absolute minimum. So we would call this graph bounded below. Here, the graph has an absolute minimum. The graph is never going to go above that vertex, right? That is the boundary that you cannot go above. So this one is bounded above. Now, we can have graphs that are bounded above and below, right? This one can't go above that value and can't go below these two values. And you can also have graphs that are not bounded. Meaning, even though they have absolute, even though they have minimums and maximums, the graphs continue going down indefinitely and continue going down um, indefinitely or continue going up indefinitely. So again, to recap, is here's is bounded. Forgot to write that. Sorry. And here is an example of not bounded. So when you're trying to determine if a function is bounded or not bounded, all you basically want to do is just say, you know, does the graph go go below a certain value? And if it doesn't, then it's bounded below. If the graph doesn't go above a certain value above, like above a certain value, then we say it's bounded above. If the graph is contained above and below, we call the graph bounded. And if the graph is, continues indefinitely in one direction as well as another direction, then we say the graph is not bounded. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, the basic definition here of bounded.